First tell was chapter 6 in biology. Today we'll talk about the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland after we talked about the anterior and the middle lobes, which are collectively called the adenohypophysis. This uh, one, the posterior lobe, is called the neurohypophysis. <coughs> the hormones secreted by the neurohypophysis are not directly um, produced from it. If we assume that this is the brain, here, this area, here is called the um, hypothalamus. It's called the hypothalamus. So they are secreted from this region, and then they pass through this piece, which connects between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. This is called the infundibulum. The infundible. So it goes to the posterior region of the pituitary gland, which is the neurohypophysis, and then it goes directly into the bloodstream without any dots, of course, because we know that the pituitary gland is an endocrine gland. So the first hormone is called the antidiuretic hormone, which we refer to as ADH, antidiuretic hormones. Antidiuretic means that it increases or decreases decreases the amount of urine excreted. It does that by stimulating the um, uh, by stimulating increasing the reabsorption of water through the kidneys. As a result, urine uh, excretion decreases. And we must know that <laughs> directly when urine decreases, the blood pressure increases. And inversely. So, actually, most antihypertension drugs, so when the uh, blood pressure is high, when the blood pressure is high, we use an, a diuretic. So, it increases urine excretion and accordingly the uh, blood pressure will decrease. So, uh, this is the function of the antidiuretic hormone. The second one is called the oxytocin, the oxytocin. Um, this one stimulates <coughs> uterus contractions during labor, during giving birth. So it's used artificially by uh, gynecologists during uh, birth operations in order to facilitate the um, labor process. So it stimulates the uterus contraction. In addition, it actually stimulates the uh, memory glands after uh, birth. So it stimulates breasts in females to produce milk after birth. So this is uh, the function of the two hormones of the um, produced from the neurohypophysis of the pituitary gland. The next time we will talk about the thyroid gland and until then thank you for watching and see.